Hello friends. Welcome back to our second session of St. Peter's Preschool Time. My name is Mrs. Strickle and I typically teach in the butterfly room. And we can't be in the butterfly room or at St. Peter's at all right now. So we are doing videos to help you have preschool time at home. It's not the same as real preschool where we can play and we can hug and we can have so much fun, but we can still have fun doing these videos. So we're gonna start with our welcome song. And I know Mrs. Smith taught you this welcome song in her video that she did, but I'm gonna teach it to you again, just in case you forgot. And it goes like this. Welcome to preschool time, our preschool time, our preschool time. Welcome to our preschool time. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, now come and sing it with me. Ready? Welcome to our preschool time, our preschool time, our preschool time. Welcome to our preschool time. I'm so glad you're here, and I am so glad that you're here, friends. Today, we're going to keep talking about the theme, All About Me. So with Mrs. Smith, we talked about how we're all a little different, and we're all a little bit the same. Now, if you go out to go shopping with your grown-ups or you just go out to visit someplace, you might see a lot of people that look a little bit like this. So there are lots of people around that wear masks. Maybe you wear masks too. Oh, <laughs> here is my cat who's coming to help. Say hi, Millie. Hi, Millie. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, there you go. So how do you feel when you see someone in a mask or you have to wear a mask? Do you feel happy because you get to be safe and help other people feel safe? Maybe you feel kind of scared because it's something different and it's something you're not used to. Maybe you are just frustrated because you don't want to wear a mask. Maybe you think it's really silly because look how silly we all look with the bottom parts of our face covered. Maybe you are super excited because you get to wear a mask just like your favorite superhero. Batman wears a mask and Spider-Man. What about Spider-Girl? and Batgirl, or Black Panther, or Iron Man. When you wear a mask, you get to be a superhero, just like your favorite superheroes who wear masks. So we have all kinds of feelings. And right now, when we're doing preschool at home, some of those feelings can be some pretty big feelings. Here are some kids that are showing feelings on their face. Look at this little girl. What, how do you think she's feeling? She's looking pretty happy. This little boy, <sighs> he's feeling bored. Do you ever feel bored? Sometimes, oh. This girl has a look on her face that tells me she is feeling angry or mad. Oh, this little girl must have made a bad choice. We all do that sometimes. This little girl is feeling sorry. This one is feeling hopeful. So she thinks something good is going to happen. <laughs> Look at this little boy. <laughs> He's feeling playful. Maybe a little silly and happy and playful. Oh, he must have made a really good choice or done something really good. He is feeling proud. 
Oh, this little girl is feeling sad. Sometimes we feel sad and that's okay. All these feelings are okay to feel sometimes. And then, oh my goodness, this boy is scared. Oh, that doesn't feel good when we're scared. Most people don't like feeling scared, but again, it's okay. And then we can feel better. We can do things to feel less scared. We're reading a story today all about feelings. And it's called My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is the author. He's the one that wrote it. He also, um, I'm sorry, no, he, um, this book has paintings by Steve Johnson and Lou Fancher. So that means he did not do the pictures in it. These two did the pictures in it. So Dr. Seuss writes this book about feelings and sometimes how those feelings remind him of different colors. So my many colored days. Oh, I see this color. What color is it? Let me hear, say it out loud. It's green. And this color. Oh, I hear some of you saying it. Good job. That color is orange. Oh, here's another page. All oh, one color. What color? Yes, purple. My many colored days. By Dr. Seuss. Some days are yellow. Some are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different color days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. Do you ever feel so active or happy and you just kick up your feet? You're just very active. I'm sure your grown-ups can think of some days when you were like that. On other days, I'm other things. On bright blue days, I flap my wings. Blue bird. Some days, of course, I feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. <gasps> what color day is next? Then comes a yellow day, and wee! I'm a busy, busy bumblebee. Gray days, everything is gray. I watch, but nothing moves today. Then, all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, deep, deep in the sea, cool and quiet fish. That's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan, I drag my tail, I walk alone. But 
when my days are happy, pink, jump. It's great to jump and just don't think. Then comes my black days, mad and loud. I howl, I growl, growl at every cloud. Then comes a mixed up day and wham, I don't know who or what I am. Do you ever have a lot of feelings in one day? You're kind of happy and then you're sad and then you're excited and then you're mad and then you go back to being happy again. This is a mixed up kind of feeling day and that's okay. But it all turns out all right. You see, and I go being, I go back to being me. What color do you see on the back of the book? Everyone tell me, say it loud. Blue. Oh. What about this color? This was the bee, the buzzy bee day. Yellow. And then this color right here. I hear people saying pink. Great job, friends. We are going to play a color game right now. Friends, I'm going to say a color. And I want you to look all around the room where you are and see if you can find something in that color. So let's start with my favorite color. My favorite color is the one that I'm wearing, my sweater. My favorite color is red. Friends, see if you can spot something red. Let me see. I'm looking around. Did you find something? Let me hear what you you found. Hold it up and say really loud what it is. Let's hear. I hear some of you found a fire truck, a book, Oh, yes, a red book. A red toothbrush. Oh, my goodness, you went to a different room for that, I think. What else did you find? Let me show you what I found. I have my red sweater. I also found a red truck. I guess it's a, a motorcycle. This belongs to my sons. A red truck. Okay, next color. It's the other color that I'm wearing up top. This color, does anyone know what that is? Black. Everyone look around. See if you can find something black. Hmm, I'll give you a minute. Look, look with those eyes. All right, tell me, what did you find? Say it really loud. Great job, friends. Look what I found. I have my shirt. <gasps> also, the book that we read. It has lots of different colors, but it has a lot of black. Okay, next thing. Let's find something with the color yellow. What do you see that is yellow? I spy with my little eyes something yellow. All right, tell me. Did someone say the sun? The sun is yellow. Yes, look what I have. My wall is yellow. So I have a yellow right here on this video on your TV. 
or on your computer or your iPad. It's yellow back there. Look what else I found that's yellow. I have some paper that's yellow, a tablet of paper. Okay, the next thing, let's find something green. Look around. What do you see in your room where you are that's green? I can think of some things that are green. Outside, if you look out a window, we have green grass. Okay, tell me, what did you find that's green? Oh, someone said a cup, a green cup. You know what, I have a green cup too. What else did you find? Did someone find this almost the same thing as me? I heard someone say they found a green dinosaur, look. I have my green dinosaur too. Great job. Okay, what about something that is blue? Find something that's blue. I'm gonna get my thing that's blue. What is it? All right, tell me really, really loud. What did you find that's blue? Great job, friends. I found a roll of tape that's blue. I'm also wearing blue pants. Those are my things that are blue. You guys did a great job with that game. Way to go. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Reach that hand way far back and give yourself a pat on the back. Now, reach your arms way out uh, in front of you cross them and give yourselves a big hug because you did an awesome job and you are special. Great job, friends. All right, we are going to sing a song and then we're going to play a couple games, a couple more games, okay? The song that we're going to sing is about a feeling and it's one of my favorite feelings and I think most people feel this way because it's a feeling about being happy. We feel really good when we are happy. And this song is called, If You're Happy and You Know It. Okay? So it has some hand motions with it. And you can sing with me if you know the song. It's pretty easy to learn. Okay, ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. Big smile. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right. This time we're going to do something different. We're going to stomp our feet. You can't really see my feet, but I'm stomping them on the ground. So, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp. Stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Now, if we're happy and we know it, we're gonna shout, hooray, hooray, yay. All right, ready? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. All right, this last part of the song, it's going to get kind of tricky. We're going to do all three at one time. So we're going to clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray each time. Do you think you're ready? Okay, let's try it. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stomp, stomp. Oh, oh my goodness, I made a mistake. Oh, isn't that silly? I'm feeling so silly right now. Let's start that again, ready? Okay, if you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. 
if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Bravo, friends! Great job! You did awesome with that. Okay, we're going to play another game. This one has colors and feelings in it. Let me, oh goodness, get out my sensory box. Listen to how it sounds. Oh, there's some fun in this box. In this box, I have, you can kind of see it. I have a bunch of rice and in that rice I have some little colored toys and I also have pictures of babies with some different feelings or different emotions. That's another word for feelings. So I'm gonna reach into the box. I'm not looking. I'm gonna reach into the box and it's gonna be a surprise what I pull out. All right. Here we go. Oh, I have a feeling card. Friends, take a look at that picture. How do you think the baby is feeling? Hmm. The baby has a look on its face kind of like that's a surprise look. I think the baby is surprised. It was the first thing I pulled out. All right, let's see what else I find in here. Oh, I'm looking all around, all around. Oh, I pulled out a little toy. My goodness, it's an eyeball. What colors are on this peg? The color white, yeah? And what's this color? It's just like my shirt, just like our book color. It's the color black. Good job, friends. I love how you're, you're telling me on the video. Great job. All right, let's see what else I find. Oh, I pulled out another peg. This time it's all one color. What color is it? Let's see. I'll put it down here so you can see. All right, tell me. Purple, yes. All right, let me feel around. Can you hear that rice? I like the feeling of this. Okay, oh, I found a picture card. Oh no. This baby does not look like he's feeling very happy. What is the feeling? It's not happy. It doesn't look like a good look on his face. I think that baby's feeling scared. He needs a grown-up to help him. If you're feeling scared, go to your grown-up and your grown-up can help you. All right, let's see what else is in my box. Ooh. Another card. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that baby. Oh, how is that baby feeling, do you think? Yeah, I hear a lot of people saying, happy. That baby does look happy. Yes. All right, what else is in here? Oh, feeling all around. Oh, my goodness, I grabbed two things. Let's see what I grabbed. I grabbed two, whoa, uh-oh. <laughs> I have rice in one of my, pe my pegs. Oh my, that's gonna make a mess. You know what? I think that's pretty silly. Some people might feel kind of annoyed by that. And I might, when I go to clean it up, be a little annoyed that I made that mistake. But that's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. So, all right. So I emptied that back, that rice back in my box. What two colors do we have here? P 
pink and blue. Good job. All right, let's do one more out of this game. And then we have another game to play. All right. Oh, look, this little girl, hmm, she doesn't look excited. She doesn't look happy. This girl looks like she's crying. Uh-oh. Maybe this girl is mad or sad or upset. Those are all feelings that, that kind of feel the same way. So she could be any of those. All right. Friends, you did a great job playing that game with me. Thank you so much. All right. The next game that we play is going to be all about feelings, too. And with this game, we're going to use some Play-Doh. The game we are playing is with Play-Doh. So I have some Play-Doh here. This is just Play-Doh that I had bought at the store. But you can make Play-Doh at home with your grown-up or your grown-up by themselves. So if you don't have Play-Doh at home and you want to play this game, that's okay. Ask your grown-up. On the internet, there are many, many simple ways to make Play-Doh. So maybe your grown-up can uh, do that for you. And what I have here, your grown-up can also maybe get this for you. So I've attached this paper to the email where the link to this video is, and your grown-up can print it out. Or if you don't have a printer or your grown-up doesn't want to print it out, that's okay. Remember with Mrs. Smith, how you drew a picture of yourself? You drew a circle. That's all you have to do. You can just get a blank piece of paper, draw a circle to be your face. And then with our Play-Doh, we are going to make different feelings, different emotions. Emotions is a different word for feelings. All right. So the first thing we're going to do with our face, just because it's kind of fun, is I'm going to make two little balls and I'm going to put them on my face right here for my eyes. Then a lot of feelings you can tell because of, a, whoops, I just dropped my Play-Doh, um, uh, because of a person's mouth. So let's look closely. Up here are some pictures of different feelings and we're going to try to make those with Play-Doh. So the first one is a little girl who was feeling happy. Look at that smile on her face. I'm going to try to do that with my Play-Doh. All right, let's see. We're going to put a, a smile. Look, I made my person happy. Now, if you want to, you could get uh, really kind of silly about it or get really specific about it. And you could put her hair on because she has straight long hair. And you could do that. <gasps> Look, I made happy. That was fun. Now, what's the next one that we're going to make? Oh, I look at that face. That face is sad. She has a frown. So I am going to turn my smile upside down. Oh, there is the frown. The next one. Oh, he is feeling angry. All of us feel angry sometimes. We're going to make an angry face. Our eyebrows, that's the little hair above our eyes. They kind of slant in when we're angry. Oh my. Let's see if you can guess now. There's a lot more feelings. Let's see if you can guess based on what I make with my Play-Doh. Whoops. My goodness, I keep dropping my Play-Doh. I have a case of the whoopsie daisies today. 
First rice, then Play-Doh. All right, let's see if we can guess what this Play-Doh person is feeling. Oh my, <gasps> what are they feeling, do you think? Say it out loud, say it loud. <gasps> surprised, I agree. I think the Play-Doh person is surprised. All right, next one, I'm gonna do this one over here. Do my two eyes. And what? is this one gonna be feeling? All right, can you guess? What is that emotion? It's excited! If you said happy, yep, there's that smile. Or excited, any of those would be fine. So friends, you can play this game at home. You can get some Play-Doh and either this paper or just draw a circle for a head um, on your own paper and you can practice making feeling faces on your own paper. Have fun with that. The last thing we're gonna do during our preschool time today is make a craft. And this is kind of a fun craft to do. These are called pebble monsters, or I call them pebble monsters. And they're really fun to do because there are a couple different steps. So first, you go outside in your yard and you pick up any kinds of rocks that you can find. They might be little rocks like this. Oh, and this one was sparkly. Or they might be bigger rocks like these. They might be close to a square, like this rock. You can find any rocks that are around your house or maybe in a park. Bring them inside and wash them and then let them dry. And then you're ready to do this craft. So these rocks I all found in my yard along with this one. And I'm gonna make my very own pebble monster. So first, I'm going to color it one solid color. Now, for the grown-ups that are watching, I found that acrylic paint works best for this. You can use um, a child's paint, like a tempera paint. You could even use nail polish if you wanted to. But the paint that I found uh, works best is acrylic. So, I'm going to use my yellow paint and I am going to paint my rock. Make it nice and thick on there. I'm gonna cover the sides of it like this. Oops. There, just like this. So my rock now is nice and colored in yellow. If you want, you could paint the back of it. Or if you want, you could actually paint it a couple different colors. Look at my rock here. I painted it blue, and then I decided to put a little bit of yellow on top. Now, you can wait till it dries if you're going to do a whole bunch of rocks. You can go on to your next rock then, or you can go ahead and just do the next step. The next step is going to make or the next step is going to be to make a feeling face on it. So, there are many different feeling faces that you can choose. There's a surprised face here on my blue rock. My red rock looks a little angry. Here, this yellow rock looks silly. Look at that. My red rock looks happy. My orange rock looks sad. So you can choose any of those feelings. And I'm going to start out with some eyes and do some white on it for the eyes. And then I'm going to take either a toothpick or just a small paintbrush and I'm going to do the rest. So I can put a little black dot on the white for the eyes. 
and I can make it have a feeling. Friends, can you guess what feeling this rock is going to have? A happy, just like the smile on my face right now. Yes. So this rock is going to be a happy rock. So you can do this at home with any rocks that you find and really any paint that you have at home. And then you can put them with your grown-up's permission. You could put them outside in your garden. Maybe you could keep them um, on your dresser in your room or maybe somewhere else that your grown-ups tell you. And you can keep them and look at them and every time you look at them, remember the feelings, the different feelings that we all have. Friends, it was so nice to be here with you. I am so glad you watched this video. Thank you so much. We are going to end with our goodbye song. So, everybody ready? Um, this is a song that some of you might sing in your St. Peter's classrooms. Others might sing a different goodbye song, but that's okay. This is the one we're going to sing today. All right. It's the same one that Mrs. Smith taught you, so if you remember, sing along. If not, you can learn it again with me. All right. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. We'll see you next time. So we'll see you next time. Bye.